have you ever encountered a black screen issue on your Galaxy Z Flip 4? Don't worry, you're not alone. This problem can happen to any smartphone, and the good news is that it can be fixed. In this video, we'll show you how to fix a Galaxy Z Flip 4 that won't turn on, stuck on a black screen or just won't respond. Before we dive into the solutions, please share and like this video to help other users who might be experiencing the same issue. First solution, forced restart. One of the common causes of the black screen of death is a firmware crash. When this happens, your phone won't respond, and all you can see is a black screen. The fastest way to fix this problem is by doing a forced restart. Here's how you can do it. Simultaneously press and hold the power key and volume down button on the right edge of your device for approximately 10 seconds. When the Samsung logo appears on the screen, release the keys. The logo indicates that you've successfully made your Galaxy Z Flip 4 respond again, and in most cases, it's enough to fix the problem. Second solution, charge the battery and do the forced restart. If the forced restart doesn't work, there's a possibility that the battery life of your Galaxy Z Flip 4 smartphone is fully drained. When this happens, your phone won't be getting any power, and all you can see is a black screen. Here's what you can do. Plug the power adapter to a working electrical outlet. Use the original charging cable to connect your Galaxy Z Flip 4 to the charger. Regardless of whether the charging sign shows or not, leave the phone connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, and with the phone still connected to the power adapter, press and hold the volume down button and power key for 10 seconds. Your phone should now be able to start normally. If the issue is caused by a drained battery or a firmware crash, you might have to do these procedures a few more times. However, if your device refuses to respond even after a few tries, it's time to have the device checked as the problem might already be with the hardware. We hope this guide has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.